Do you know what this is? Uh? I know you think you do. Keep watching and in five minutes you'll know exactly what it is and why it matters. It was way back in August of 1896. Flinders Petrie, perhaps the greatest Egyptologist of all time, was digging in the dismal, half-buried ruins of Merneptah's funerary chapel in Thebes, the ancient Egyptian city on the west bank of the Nile River, when he came across a giant stone tablet, or stele, five feet wide and ten feet tall, covered in Egyptian huh. hieroglyphics. The stele dated to 1208 BC and described Pharaoh Merneptah's victories over the Libyans and their allies. But the last three lines describe a separate campaign against four Canaanite cities. That is even more significant. Plundered is the Canaan with every evil. Carried off is Ascaluni. Seized upon is Gezer. Yanoam is made non-existent, Isarar is laid waste, its seed is no more. Petrie's translator, Wilhelm Spiegelberg, was baffled. They are the names of Syrian towns, he remarked, but one I don't know, Isarar. Why, that is Israel, Petrie exclaimed. Won't the reverends be pleased? It wasn't until later that evening huh. that Petrie realized the importance of his discovery. This stele will be better known in the world than anything else I have found. And he was right. Today, the Merneptah stele, or Victory stele, is on prominent display in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo and is considered to be one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of all time. But why? Uh? What was the big deal? Up until that time, there was no direct evidence, apart from the Bible, that Israel existed as a nation back then. <laughs> In fact, many liberal scholars delighted in this huh. fact, holding it up as proof that the Bible was not the authoritative word of God and could not be trusted as real history. However, Petrie's discovery put an end to all that, proving once and for all that Israel was a nation back in 1208 BC and that the Bible could be trusted. Less than 200 years after Joshua began the conquest of the Promised Land in 1405 BC. Although Merneptah's campaign was not recorded in the Bible, the campaign of his father, Shishak, or Shoshank I, certainly was. When Shishak, king of Egypt, attacked Jerusalem, he carried off the treasures of the temple of the Lord and the treasures of the royal palace. He took everything, including the gold shields Solomon had made. To add further credence to Petrie's discovery, on the opposite bank of the funerary chapel is the temple of Karnak, in which a copy of the Merneptah stele was found, and four friezes referring to those three Canaanite cities, Ashkeluni, Gezer, and Yenoam. The fourth frieze shows a battle in an open field, which Egyptologist Frank Yurko believes is the very battle with Israel that is described in the Merneptah stele. Also located at the Temple of Karnak are circled cartouches of 150 conquered cities, 31 of which can be attributed to Israelite towns, including one that is referred to as the Highlands of David, or Jerusalem. Isn't it ironic that a pharaoh's proud boast that Israel is laid waste, its seed is no more, proves that Israel actually existed in 1208 BC and that the Bible can be trusted. And that's why it matters. So what is it? Uh? The Merneptah Stele. But then, you already knew that. You can believe what the Bible says about the past, but what does it say about the future? Hebrews 9.27 As it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Are you ready? <laughs>